Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias Antioch and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Saturday, December 10th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. Brethren, the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are men of faith are blessed with Abraham who had faith. For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all the things written in the book of the law and do them. Now it is evident that no man is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. But the law does not rest on faith. He who does them shall live by faith them. And today's gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 13, verses 19 through 29. The Lord said this parable, the kingdom of God is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his garden, and it grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again he said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like the leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of flour, till it was all leavened. And he went on his way through the towns and villages, teaching and journeying towards Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Lord, will those who are saved be few? And he said to them, Strive to enter by the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the householder has risen up and shut the door, you will begin to stand outside and to knock on the door, saying, Lord, open to us. And he will answer you, I do not know where you come from. And then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you come from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There you will weep and gnash your teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. And the men will come from the east and west, from north and south, and all will sit at table in the kingdom of God. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So the first half of this passage speaks of two things that I think we can build off of. The first, the kingdom of God is like a grain of mustard seed. I don't know if you've ever seen a mustard seed, but it is extremely small very, very small thing, way smaller than an inch, even a quarter of an inch. So it's a very tiny little thing. And then he speaks about, our Lord does, about how once you plant it into the ground, it grows and becomes this gigantic bush, a tree really, that then gives uh, space for birds to build nests in. So this little tiny thing becomes this massive tree. And then he talks about leaven, the amount of leaven that it takes to cause three measures of flour to rise is a very, very small amount. And yet, if you didn't have the leaven in there and you tried to have the flour prepared to make bread, it wouldn't grow at all. But if you put leaven in it, it grows to immense sizes. When we bake bread at church, it's amazing to watch this lump of a mixture of flour and yeast and and salt and water and a little bit of oil and watch it become this massive uh, thing that we can then make many loaves of bread out of. And the leaven continues to go. There are three times when we are baking bread that the uh, yeast causes the bread to rise or to change its form in some manner. So it again is this small amount of something that then causes the entire thing to grow. And that is a matter of two things. The first, we speak of our faith. If we just had a little bit of faith, a little bit of faith, a belief that, that Christ is indeed the Lord of history and that he basically can take care of all things, then the faith that we have in that would cause us to do far greater things than we ever dreamed that we were capable of doing. It would give us a sense of peace far greater than anything we can accomplish on our own. It would give us an awareness of God's love in a way that nothing else can. And so that faith is a, is a key part 
of who we are as the followers of Jesus Christ. So faith and then the growth of the faith is what he is speaking of there. Now, striving to enter by the narrow door. Um, of course, we hear in the epistle today that we must be careful that the law there serves as an obstacle, a stumbling block, a way to remind us of our failures. But the reality is we are called to love God with our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We are called to love our neighbor as ourselves. He gives us many, many different prescriptions on what we should do in order to attain the kingdom of heaven. And if we fail to live up to those expectations of our Lord, we will fail to walk the narrow path. And we will find ourselves shot out. And we will find ourselves in a position where we're begging to be let in. And we cannot be let in because we did not keep his commandments. So this is a major part of our faith as well. It is not a work per se, because it's not going to save us, but it's going to confirm our love for Christ. It is a seal of our faith. It is not our faith itself. So when we live in accordance to what Christ would have us do, we can't help but do things that are beneficial to our neighbors. We can't help but reflect our love for God in all the things that we do. But if we fail to do those things, if we just say that we embrace the faith through some form of lip service, then we, as Christ himself says, will be told by our Lord, depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. And then the ramifications, men will, um, we will find ourselves um, locked out of the kingdom of, of heaven um, where Abraham and Isaac and Jacob are entering in. And we will find ourselves shut out, thrust out, barred from the door. So these are, um, the first is a sign of, of encouragement to have faith, to allow our faith to grow. And then the other is a dire warning that we are to use that faith in a way that builds the kingdom of heaven in a way that is pleasing to God. So may he direct our steps and help us to do exactly that. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please do like it. Put a like in the box there here in YouTube. And also, please consider following if that would be of benefit to you. I pray that you and your loved ones have a great day. I pray that God will bless you. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.